Dear friends, namaste and welcome back to the series of lectures or videos on SWMM tutorial. In the first video, we learned how to install this particular software. From this video onwards, we will try to take up one tutorial problem that is given in SWMM tutorial itself. And uh, I'll try to explain it. So let us directly go to the SWM software. I'm just opening the software. Here we are going to open the tutorial, go to the help, go to the tutorial, basic tutorial. So you will get the the basic tutorial window. If you can see, these are the skills which you will be acquiring in this tutorial, right from project setup, construction, constructing an SWMM model, selecting the properties of SWMM object, saving and opening the project, running a single event analysis, viewing simulation results, simulating runoff water quality, and running a continuous simulation. Let's uh, go further. So this is the study area. Actually, the study area is a 12 acre residential area. Um, this is a catchment and it is being divided into three subcatchments, namely S1, S2, S3, and they are joined by uh, conduit C1 through C4, and the junctions are C1 through C4. There is an outlet, and also you can see a rain gauge station. Okay, for the time being, let me close this map, because uh, before we actually draw this map, we have to make certain options set. Let's focus on that and closing this. So these are all the options that we have to set. The first one is creating a new project that you can do either by clicking on this icon or by clicking new, go to the files and clicking on new. Yes, you have created that. Now, the second one is project defaults. Go to the project, go to the defaults. Here, uh, as I said, we are only going to implement the same solution, mimic the same solution. We are simply using the same settings suggested in the uh, tutorial. For rain gauge, it is gauge. For subcatchment, it is yes. For junction, it is J. For outfall, it is O U T. For conduits, it is C, and the increment is one. So this is we have done in project default window on ID labels tab. There are some more settings that we have to incorporate in the subcatchment subcatchment tab. So let me click on subcatchment tab. The area of subcatchment tab is 4. The width of subcatchment tab is 400. The slope is 0.5. Yes, it is there. And percentage per VS is 50. Let me change this to 50. N per VS and M in per VS are Manning's coefficients. Uh, for different types of uh, conditions, you can get the Manning coefficient from the SWMM tutorial itself. So uh, in your problem, uh, depending upon your uh, situation or condition, you can pick up those values. But for the time being, I'll just go ahead with the tutorial suggestions. M per VS as 0 0.01 and sorry, N in per VS, Manning coefficient in per VS as 0 0.01 and N per VS as 0 
Now, uh, depth of storage on impervious is 0 0.05, yes. Similarly, the depth of storage on pervious also 0 0.05. Percentage 0 pervious as 25. Yes, it is already there, 25. And modified green uh, MPT is the infiltration model. So in order to set the infiltration model, if you can see, there is a button with three dots. We call it as a browser button. Click on this browser button. You can select the infiltration models. So here the suggestion is to select modified green AMPT. I have selected it. When you select this particular model for the properties, you will get certain predefined values which you cannot alter. So click OK. And again, go to the IDs and links option in the IDs, ID invert as zero. For the time being, you just enter these values. What is invert turned on? We will explore during the course of this uh, tutorial. And uh, mode maximum depth is default value is zero. Let us set it as four. And uh, Conduit length as 400, it is also 400. The conduit geometry is circular. Yes, it is also circular here. But however, let, let us explore what are the possible conduit values because uh, SWMM supports a good deal of uh, conduit geometry. These are all the various geometry out of which I am selecting the circular and number of barrels as one and number of height as one. These are the default values suggested. Let me click OK. So I am done. Now coming to the roughness coefficient, it is 0 0.01. Yes, it is 0 0.01. And the flow units are cubic feet per second. It is there. And link offset is depth. Yes, most importantly, Flood routing model is kinematic wave where we got it as dynamic wave. So let us set it as kinematic wave. The force uh, main equation is Hazen Williams equation. So there is no change. So afterwards we can click. We'll, we are completed with the project defaults. However, if you want to continue with the same project defaults, for the subsequent projects, you can check on this save as default all for all new projects. However, I'm not interested to do, so I'm just clicking OK button. The next one is uh, regarding the tool maps, go to the tools, go to the map display. You can see uh, certain settings for subcatchments uh, in the pop up window. Select subcatchment. Diagonal should be the option. It is already there. And the symbol size is 5. It is already 5. Okay. This is perfect. Okay. Next, uh, go to the uh, nodes. What else? Yeah. Go to the nodes. Yes. Uh, go to the nodes. And the size of node is uh, 5. So let's make it as 5. Next, yeah. afterwards, select the annotations. I have selected the annotation. In that annotation, you have display label IDs for subcatchment, node, and link. The rain gauge cat ID, it is not suggesting. So as per the suggestion, let us only check uh, subcatchment ID, node ID, and link ID for this example. If you want to display this, you can also check this. There's nothing wrong. And having done this, uh, next is uh, select flow arrow. Where is the flow arrow? Yeah, here is the flow arrow. And uh, flow arrow 
coming to the flow arrow, it is filled arrow. So select the arrow style as filled and arrow size as seven. So it is five, so make it seven, we are done. So click okay, yes, we have done it. Next, coming to the dimensions, go to the view, go to the dimensions. Uh, the suggestion is leave is leave it as it is. So we're just leaving it as it is. Now, finally, to wind up this lecture, we have to focus on the status bar. Firstly, let me show you what is a status bar. So this is a status bar. You can see this bar. This particular bar is the status bar, okay? In this, uh, the options, the options, the auto lens should be off and uh, uh, the offset depth, is, uh, the offset should be depth, though elevation is also possible. Flow units should be a CFS, so it is already there. Suppose in case if it is not there, you can click on that and you can set it. But in our case, it is perfect. It's already there. Now we have selected auto link as a offset as depth and flow units as CFS. So with this, we have concluded one part. The next part is drawing which we can draw in the map, which we can do it in the next video. So thank you for watching this video.